Here we have a quadratic algebraic expression, x squared plus 3x minus 10. We want to factorize this uh, straightforward quadratic uh, algebraic expression. So in other words, we want to write it probably as two quantities in brackets like this. So the normal thing we want to do is we don't have uh, any numbers out front other than one. So we just have our x's here. And then we're going to have plus or minus some number in each of these. We see right away that we're going, to, we're going to have to have one negative number. So one negative and one positive. We know that because this term, this numbers term, is negative. So to get this, we have to multiply two things that will give us a negative. That means one of them is negative, one of them is positive. That makes sense. This is a, a positive number, so we're going to have to have this be the larger one than this. So we need to factorize 10, and whichever one is larger we put in here. So we have factors of 10, 10 and 1, uh, and 5 and 2. And that's it. So now we need to figure out which ones of these will add or subtract in some way to get 3. Well, obviously, 10 minus 1 isn't going to work, so it's going to be our 5 and 2. Again, to figure out which order they go in, we see this is positive. We already said that the positive has to be the bigger number, so we put in the 5 here and the 2 here. So it's pretty straightforward in this method. We can go back and factorize out or expand and see if it works. So let's do that really quickly. FOIL, firsts, insides, outsides, and last. So firsts is x squared, x times x, minus 2x from this, insides. Outsides gives us plus 5x. And then finally, lasts, negative 2 and 5. So negative 2 times 5 gives us negative 10. Quickly simplify x squared. 5 minus 2 is plus 3x minus 10. So great. It worked out. What we were looking for is the factorization right here, and we just checked and it worked out.